Hello everybody, it is Shannon. I am a digital marketing, communications, and e-commerce specialist. And today we are going to go over how to set up collections or categories in Square. Alrighty, so like all videos that I make, we start out in the home dashboard of Square once you sign in. What you want to do is you're going to go down here on the side, you're going to go right to online, click on that. And it might take a little bit to load, sometimes Square does. So what we'll do next is we'll go right to items. Now, in order to make categories on Square, you need to ensure that you're uploaded, you have uploaded site items. Um, I've gone over this in a previous video that I've made, so if you don't know how to do that, go check that out. But if you want to make categories, you need to have site items. So let's go to site categories. Alrighty, so as you can see for my current website, I am not organized. I do not have any categories and that's what we're going to do for this video. So if you have your items added already into your site, what you're going to do is add category right here. So as per my previous video, the category of items that I have are potatoes. So that is what we're going to put in here. Category title, that is potatoes. So if you had flowers for Mother's Day, you'd put Mother Day, Mother's Day florals, that sort of thing. So the items. So this is important because you get to choose what you want to have in your category. So you will choose here. As you can see, I have brown potato and yellow potato. I will select both because they are both potatoes. Anything that you want to have in this category, you need to choose here. Um, of course, you can go in at a later time and change the item category. You can put whatever you want in there as you upload your items. However, for the purposes of this video, we're choosing what we have already uh, created as items. So category image. We're just going to want to do potato. This is important because it will show up on your, uh, on your site. However, you don't really need to have a category image. If you truly do not want to, you don't need to have it. Search engine optimization, SEOs. This is a whole belly of the beast in itself. Essentially, SEOs, what they do is they help your ranking in the search engine search, uh, search bar. So if you search Google, um, all of these will help where you rank. So what you want to do here um, is you just enter your category name. So I'm going to put potatoes, SEO title. So how would these show up on a Google search? Potatoes. And then a description. Um, I'm not going to get too much into that. If you need to learn more on SEOs, there are many v YouTube videos out on that um, that could help you better understand SEOs. Um, but yeah, so essentially that's all you do. You enter all your items, you configure your SEOs if you want to, you choose a category image if you'd like, then you hit save. All right, perfect. It's, a, it's honestly as simple as that. All you need to do is add in your images, your descriptions, all that stuff if you want. Um, and there you have it. You have your site category. So you can go in at any time and change this, but that is just a very basic version of how you create categories on here.